Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the Insta360 Ace Pro. I've been using it now for a couple of months. It works really well and takes really good footage. I use it mainly in air sports as I do base jumping, paragliding and skydiving. And I want to show you how good the Ace Pro does in these sports. So firstly, we have the Ace Pro here. Ace Pro is nice and robust it's got a front screen the back screen that flips it's got a really big one inch sensor that does really well in low light i'll talk to you about that later and we've got the normal battery port and the usb-c charger with the sd card holder the main accessories i use with the ace pro is the quick release mount the ace pro has back there as you can see a magnetic mount and so when i come close to it it just fits in automatically and then i can just push on these side buttons and it comes off in i can lock it in here you can see lock boom and then it doesn't move anymore and so i can use it like that put it on a helmet and on this helmet here on my 2x helmet i've got one that's permanently here that way i don't need to find something like that and i don't have my this too much snag hazard so i open here take it off bring my helmet put it on beam and then clip it in and secure it and now it doesn't move anymore and that way i'm sure i always have a mount and i can really change from one mount to the other my ace pro and i always have it with me i know my helmet looks really bad i found it at the bottom of a cliff but it works really well so i'm keeping it the next good accessory you can use with the ace pro the horizontal vertical mount there we have it so you put the ace pro on the mount voilà, fixed okay it's probably on the mount now i can put it vertically on my helmet voilà. now it's fixed and it doesn't move okay it doesn't look very solid but i've tried it base jumping i went to 250 kilometers an hour with it and it held every time and it doesn't move and even on the openings it doesn't move so I mean, it works really well we also have accessories like the mic adapter if you want to put a microphone for vlogging on the side next accessory that i use a lot is the remote preview watch it enables you to have statistics when you take your footage at the moment it's paired with the x4 but if i want i can pair it with the ace pro and when i turn the remote preview on it's gonna automatically turn on the ace pro and then i can start filming at the top here you can see that the remote is looking for gps when you have the three gps bars then you can jump record button on the watch is just here you don't need to touch your ace pro anymore and then you can start recording and when you export your video file at the end you can add statistics on it as you can see you can have different styles different designs of statistics and you can also move the statistics all around the screen have as many as you want choose what options you want and which you do not want this is a wristband that you have for the insta 360 watch voilà. you put it on your arm and then you can connect it to the ace pro or the x4 okay so now we're going to talk about the different video settings that i use so here you can see is my usual screen i've got 4k 60 frames per second video you can have 8k this is an 8k video shoot that i did from a nice jump in france 
but usually I use 4K 60 frames per second. It does really nice slow motion video. And I usually use D warp. This is the one that has the less distortion distortion on the edges. The video is a bit cropped, but this is the one I prefer. You can also have a two time clear zoom. This is with the clear zoom and this is without. Clear zoom is either you tap twice on the screen or you just push on this button here. The colors of the Ace Pro are really good in standard setting, but I like it in vivid mode. And here you can change to vivid mode. All the rest I leave in automatic. I have the white balance in automatic. It does a really good job. And the sharpness of the video, I put it in standard. Then we have pure video mode is for low light and it's an AI uh, assistant that helps taking out the grain in low light footage. Here you have some examples of low light footage and as you can see it looks pretty nice and on this one well yes there is a bit of grain but this video was taken at 20 past 10 on the 29th of June and really it was already super dark outside and we couldn't see much already just you know with our own eyes so I think this footage is really good considering that it was so late in the evening you know we couldn't see the landing down there and the camera is doing a really good job at taking the shot. The Ace Pro also does really nice AI footage. In terms of battery life, I find that the Ace Pro is doing a really good job. I've used it for like four days in a row and didn't have to charge it again. And even if the battery is dying, in 20 minutes, it goes back up to 80%. So charging is really fast and the battery life is really good. Okay, one other thing that I really like on there is how fast it turns on and starts recording. So I'll turn it off so you can see. Insta360 is off. Okay, I'm pushing here the record button. And again, what I like on the Ace Pro is that I've got the red light in the back, a big red light in the front. I can see that it's recording. There was a vibration when it started recording and I've got the noise. So this really helps me when the camera is on my helmet to know that I have started recording. Let's say it's been running for two minutes. I don't have any space on my SD card anymore. All I have to do is do this, push a long time on the record button, and then it cancelled this recording. And now it's going to turn off again. And if I push on the record button again, it just starts straight away. So I'm sure that I'm still recording, but I don't have useless footage on my camera. Overall, the Ace Pro is a really good camera. I would really recommend it to you. Don't hesitate to use my affiliate link in the description below, and you can go on the Insta360 webpage and get your own Ace Pro. Okay, see you next time, and we'll talk about the X4 in the next video. Ciao.